Hey, here's the help video for the proportions practice using the percent proportion tables, otherwise known as the tic-tac-toe tables. So we're gonna take this information, question one, the first thing we wanna do is fill out our table, starting with the part is, the other part is out of the total, and we're gonna compare that to percents. and pull that information out of the context. It says 6675 is what percent of 700? Of 700 is gonna be the given context of the total, and 665 is very close to 700, so I'm gonna put 665 in here as the larger part. We don't know what the smaller part is, and the question is what percent? So we're looking for 665 is a percent out of 700. So we can actually cross out the top piece of information. Now we're going to use the proportion table to help us solve by using factors. So 700 divided by seven gives you 100. So 665 divided by seven. Okay. Number two, we're gonna set up the proportion table. Is, is, of, and the percent is out of 100. So it says, what is 75%? 75% of 36, of 36. So if this is 75%, then that means that's 25%. And we could simplify this. 25% is one out of four. 75% is three out of four. So once we simplify it, now we use factors to solve. Four times nine is 36. Three times nine is 27. And one times nine is nine. So 75% is 27 out of 36. Practicing the percent proportion table, set it up, is, is, of, and then we have our percents. So we got 12 is, 12 is 20%, so we got 20%, 12 is 20%. Well, if this is 20, that means the other percent is 80. 20, 80 equals 100%. 20 does not work with 12, but each one of these can be divided by 20. So we simplify. 20 divided by 20 is 1, 80 divided by 20 is 4, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. Now we go back the other way. Times 12. Times 12. And 12 is 20% out of what number? Out of what number? Uh, number four is, is of, so Ted's car is worth $9,000. And the $9,000 is 60%. So is 60 going to be the smaller or larger part? 60 is the larger part out of 100. So that means this is going to be 40%. So now it says 60% is 9,000. 60% is 9,000.
of what he paid for the car. So if we look at our proportions here, 60 does not have a factor that works for 9,000, but we can divide each one of these by 20 to help us simplify. So 40 divided by 20 is two, 60 divided by 20 is three, and 100 divided by 20 is five. Now that we simplified it, does three have a factor that works with 900? 3,000. So we're gonna multiply each one of these by 3,000. And then we can identify how much he paid for his car. Yeah. Check your proportion table for number five. 20, 80, and 100, all of these can be divided by 20. That's gonna give us one out of five, four out of five, and the total is five. So now we're gonna divide 475 divided by five to find the factor. Once you find the factor, then you multiply, five goes into 47, nine times, nine times five is 45, 25 goes into 25 five times. So each one of these is multiplied by 95. So continuing on with number six. So John needs $8,000 to buy a car. So it sounds like this is gonna be the total amount needed. He already has 5,600. 5,600 is pretty close to 8,000. So that means that's the larger part. So it looks like he needs 2,400 still remaining. So mm -hmm. what percent of the price? We're looking for the percent. It looks like 8,000 does have a factor that works with 100. So if we divide by eight, divide by eight, divide by eight, we're gonna end up with 30%, 70%, and 100.